make the best when we are there and give way to others. We pray that we will learn our example from the events of today that fear and greed made innocent children to die for what they knew nothing about. Many people have died in our country for nothing, for what they know nothing about. Let us pray that God will cleanse our land from the perpetrators of all this kind of evil. God, today we recall that the innocent martyrs bore witness, not by word, but by their death. Grant that our way of life may give witness to our faith in you, which our lips profess. We ask all this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Have a grace filled day. Thank you. Indeed, we must have picked up a lot of virtues. And today we do not just celebrate as saints, but today is a feast. That is the feast of the Holy Innocent. Indeed, 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 Sister has said much. And we just have to learn to appreciate others, to accept change when it comes. We just have to learn to adapt to certain situations. And Father, if there's one thing I have picked up from what Sister has said, it's that when God says it will be, it will be, no matter what you do, because the king did his best, as in his utmost best, yes. to maintain it, but when God says it will be, it will be, and when God says it is not yet time, no matter what you do, do not rush him, yes. it's not yet time. So no. I think, rather than us picking up a virtue, let's just, let's just understand that. When God says it is time for us, it is time. When God says it is your time, it is your time. When it's not your time, no matter what you do, climb the highest mountains, swim the deepest oceans, yes. no matter the extent you go to, you can't rush him. But if there's one assurance I want us to have is that God's delay is not denial. Yes. And let's just learn to adapt to situations that come our way. God's delay is not denial, mm -hmm. yes, Marion. You know the Feast of Holy Innocence also brings to mind the heralds of our time those who at all costs want to do away with principles christ has laid behind mm -hmm. want to do away with good the heralds of our time also deals with the shining syndrome those yeah. in life who want as sister said take positions and give no chance for other people other persons sometimes we may be thinking is the other but we ourselves have the hero syndrome in one way or the other we perpetrate this acts in one way or the other. And today the church remembers the holy innocents. And I want to salute the efforts of all the parishes, many parishes in our, in our diocese, who are partaking in activities for the young people. Today the holy innocents is being celebrated at Mekongi. It's going to be celebrated at St. Cornelius Parish, um, uh, Livanda in Limbe, my one Livanda. So, it's very, very common for us to have the Feast of Holy Innocence being celebrated in a grand style among many parishes and parishioners where children come together to celebrate. So it's like a children's feast day hmm. in the Dice and a children's feast day in the church. The La Fête des Saints Innocents. C'est une fête qui est célébrée partout. Peut-être dans toutes les paroisses, ou bien dans beaucoup de paroisses dans notre diocèse, où les jeunes, ils ont le temps aussi pour célébrer et pour commémorer ce jour où Hérode avait mis en thème la vie de beaucoup d'entre eux et beaucoup des enfants. Donc c'est pour cela que nous prenons ce temps pour vous éduquer aussi par notre radio télévision, du vin Merci Radio Télévision, pour vous éduquer sur cette fait que dans notre vie, nous avons des héros et dans nous-mêmes, nous avons l'héros, nous sommes héros à chacun et souvent, nous, nous venons en thème et nous, nous, nous ne comprenons pas que nous devons aussi laisser place aux gens, aux autres, pour euh, s'exprimer et pour montrer ce qu'ils ont comme talent. So that's what we had today, Marion. Uh... Yeah, you know, 
it is indeed and those who are opportunes to go to church today should at least endeavor to attend the mass the mass is rather offered for these children or celebrated by the various priests in their various parishes so father before we go for our daily reflection i think uh, we have to tell our viewers what our topic is for today what is your most valuable achievement this year what is your most valuable achievement this year you know we are already starting the countdown to enter a new year to begin a new year so this year cannot just go like this at least we have had the ups and downs the highs and the lows it's been a roller coaster right but no sweat no sweets what has been that valuable achievement of yours this year? Yes. But that, that is what we are asking. And that's a very good one, Marion. Uh -huh. It would be very interesting for our viewers to know your most valuable achievement. It must not be financially, physical, even spiritually. Maybe there's a virtue you're trying to get this year. And since we are doing this, mm, foreseeing the coming year, so you have your New Year resolutions made up. So we can see what you have done this year as a success in your life. What is your success? Ça, ça peut être spirituel, ça peut être dans le cadre mental, dans le cadre physique. Et oui, nous devons regarder avant d'entrer dans l'année prochaine, nous devons savoir quel est notre succès dans cette année, qu'est-ce qu que nous avons acquis dans cette année comme étant euh, chrétien, étant camerounais. Étant être humain, étant chrétien, étant camerounais dans notre vie, Maron. I think it's an intriguing one. And we are waiting to, for, to have your contributions on our Facebook page, on our WhatsApp numbers, and also an SMS. Why not even tell us? Maybe if you not achieve your goal this year, you can still bring it up saying, well, you hope to achieve this next year. So what is your most valuable achievement next year? And please, viewers, we have... It has come to our notice that uh, some of you try calling so you could as well participate but we are pleading rather than calling because uh, it's not going to be possible for us to get your contributions via calls so we plead that you send in your contributions via normal sms like father rightly said on our whatsapp page and on our facebook page the topic still remains what is your most valued achievement this year it is still your number one and favorite breakfast program salve vicinus father i think uh, yes. we have to pray yes we, we know have we had the virtues father so so we will take a reflection mm -hmm. we will take a morning reflection and we'll take it in a, in a sub manner where we reflect on the words which we have today and try to emulate them so right away we shall have a morning reflection. Salve Vicinos to your viewers of Divine Mercy Television. We welcome you to today's liturgical reflection Today, December 28th, the fourth day of the octave of Christmas. Today, the church celebrates the feast of the Holy Innocents, who are, were the first martyrs. Dear brothers and sisters, today we are inspired by the readings from the first letter of St. John, chapter 5, to chapter 2. Two verse two. Dear brothers and sisters, our attention today is focused on the tension brought about by the news of the newborn king of Israel. He is Jesus the Lord. We are presented with two powerfully opposed forces. On the one hand, we have the kingdom of darkness, and on the other hand, the kingdom of light. This kingdom of darkness is a kingdom in which terror, hatred, 
greed and evil reign. It is ruled by Herod and his cohorts in the East, Palestine. Here in Palestine, Herod does not want any opposition. The news that a newborn king, a new king has been born in Bethlehem, is a terrorizing news. He can't stand it. Herod finds himself standing in opposition with light. God is light. And in him there is no darkness. Herod and his cohorts find themselves lost at the loss. And even the wise men are with Herod. And he gives his advice, go and see and bring us the news so that we too can go and worship him. It doesn't mean that we say tongue in the cheek. Can go on, let me see who can take my place when I'm still alive. That is readiness to do something bad. But he hides his thought. On the other side, we have the kingdom of light brought about by this newborn king, Jesus the Lord. This is a kingdom where love, light, truth, integrity, and peace reign. Bethlehem and the West celebrate the dawn of a new civilization of love, peace, justice. This new king will reign over all nations of the world and his kingdom will have no end. The death of the holy innocence leaves the life long question. Philosophic, uh, philosophers raise the existentialists. This question, even today, we find it difficult to advance answers. Why do innocents suffer? Despite the many answers advanced, none has proved satisfactory. Only faith can save us. Confident trust in God. Our faith assures us that only God saves or God is in total control of all the events in the world. Evil is not beyond God's control. He allows him. He is the creator of Herod. He allows Herod to use his freedom. That is very important. We don't forget about that, even in the face of evil. Jesus allows, God allows these innocents to suffer, but he saves his son. The flight to Egypt by Mary, Joseph, and the child is all God's doing. To take him away from the hand of this wicked king, a man who is power hungry, a king of darkness. Light cannot be overcome by darkness. My dear friends, my dear brothers and sisters, it is very difficult to understand the meaning of suffering. But we are given that Jesus himself, at that morning, very early time, with his mother, after the pangs of childbirth, have to travel that long distance just to escape from the evil one. Shows that God permits these things to help us journey with him in our journey to salvation. Because we're not going to come the easy way. Salvation not taken in the palate, the plate of gold. It's true suffering, true acceptance, true cooperation with God's graces. So at this difficult moment, dear brothers and sisters, we turn to the Lord, who is giver of life, to give us the grace to understand his ways for us. As John tells us, beloved, we belong to the light. 
Let darkness not overtake us, especially at these difficult moments of grief. Let us, let us declare our readiness to live and even to die for Jesus, our newborn King. He has brought about the civilization of love, justice, and peace. And may this gift of this new civilization reign in our lives as Christians. That is what it means to be a true follower of Christ. Die with him and rise him with him. May God continue to bless you so that our Christmas season and our life as Christians may keep us faithful to all God's calling. Peace be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much, Father Sebastian, for that. We have dedicated the day into the hands of God. And uh, as it stands, we know we are fully ready, we are fully impacted for this. So, Father, I think uh, Father indeed has dedicated the day into the hands of God and also enlightening us more on what the Feast of the Holy Innocent is all about because we could still hear him talk about what King Herod did, what King Herod was trying to do. Well, the king, you know, the level at which the king had taken it. So we just have to, you know, Father. Yes, Marion. Copy that, you know, that when God actually stands for it, no one can change it. And let us try not to be like a King Herod who struggles to oppose what God wants, who struggles to fight against the will of God. Exactly. Let us be open to change. Let us accept change. Yes. Do you don't have any song for King Herod this time around? <laughs> go down, go down. Only know the go down, go down. So go Egypt. down to Egypt. And Pharaoh. So we are still to look for a song for Herod. And tell Herod. That was Herod, not Egypt. please accept the change. He yes. was in Jerusalem. He was not in Egypt <laughs> now. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay, Marion, I think we are now ready to have a divine mercy info, a news review, a news flash story on Savevicinos with Jude Baco. He stand by to treat us to that. some stories uh, that uh, were talking on a newscast last night. Now, the Bishop of the Diocese of Boya has celebrated a Thanksgiving Mass with his collaborators at various services of the Diocese. This Mass took place yesterday, the Tuesday, December 27th, at the Small Sport Cathedral here in Boya. Words of appreciation and encouragement were given to all the staff and service heads as they continue to immerse themselves in various tasks with the good of the diocese. Gideon Tata Agenda was uh, there at Mass to find in this report. Joy and happiness that envelops the region Apache's cathedral, small support as the Bishop of the Diocese of Boya, His Lordship Michael Bibi, celebrates the end of year Thanksgiving Mass with his collaborators in the Diocese of Boya. During the Eucharistic celebration, the Chief Shepherd of the Diocese reminded all of God's love to mankind as they carry out their task as agents of evangelization through various services in the diocese. In a special way, words of gratitude are also given to all the workers in the various offices and parishes are urged to assist each other in union and communion to achieve their goals. The Christians are leaving impressive notes of thanks with a lively and colorful Eucharistic celebration. The Thanksgiving Mass was filled with an atmosphere of praise and worship, ending in the prelate's blessings to all present for the celebration.
support by Gillian Tata Yenla of the Bishop of the Diocese of Boya who celebrated the Thanksgiving Mass with his collaborators at various levels in the, uh, and services in the Diocese of Boya. That was yesterday, the 27th of uh, December 2022 at the small support cathedral. The prelate gave words of encouragement and uh, to, to, to all these attendees and the service heads who were there as they immersed themselves in their various tasks with the good of the diocese. As a series of events on, that unfolded yesterday to have the end of the year, some priests of the diocese who distinguished themselves in sporting activities were equally recognized and awarded. Several activities were witnessed in the course of the event, amongst which were prize awards to priests and resounding performances from some artists. Let us get the details with Sharon Tita. In the spirit of the festive season, the Bishop of the Diocese of Boya shares a relaxing moment after a Thanksgiving Mass at Regina Parchis Cathedral with all the priests, religious, lay faithful, and staff of various institutions in the diocese. I feel very, very excited and elated to, with a bend or the twist that this uh, Thanksgiving Mass of the Bishop has taken this year. Like last year, it was more encompassing. Uh, many more persons were brought on board. The laity were not left aside, and the heads of the different diocesan institution, and uh, also the fact that it was brought outdoor, it became more all uh, encompassing. The party was punctuated with the blessing of the Christmas tree, several presentations like traditional dance, comedies, and special performances from guest artists. With my flute, I could succeed to make people happy because from their expressions, I could realize that people were happy with what I was doing. And by doing that, me too, I'm very happy with that. I'm, I'm, I'm so grateful. I'm very grateful. During the events, some priests of the Diocese of Boya who have distinguished themselves during sporting activities were recognized with several awards as a means of encouragement. So today, we gave prizes to those who were deserving and it's also like a source of encouragement for all the priests. You know, sometimes not all of us are, are there for sports. So it's like to encourage us and to build that communion around us. So that's why I gave him the prizes. Some Christians share their appraisers of the events, given that it was one of a kind. This is something different, something new. Last time we had it was so, it, it was good, but not as what we have to, we had today. So I'm so impressed with the, the celebration. We had mass, a very beautiful mass. The liturgy was well prepared. Meanwhile, in order to generate some income in the Diocese of Boya, meanwhile, in order to generate some income in the Diocese, the Bishop has made provision of some chairs and canopies for entertainment and we saw some innovations where he has gotten uh, 10 new canopies and about, and about 6,000 chairs and uh, these uh, items will be put on rentals for the various parishes in order to generate funds. The rich and colorful event ended with closing prayer and animation. Right. Now, we take you to this other story. Youths from parishes all over, from across the Diocese of Boya uh, converged on the Bishop Rogan College for the grand finale of the Bishop's Games, which shall last for three days. Sporting activities characterized in the day which they arrived, that was Tuesday, December 27, with the Bishop of the Diocese himself witnessing every part of the opening games. Marion Ngeni was there with the youths earlier yesterday and she came back with this report. Finally, the day has come. The youth of the Diocese of Boyer converge at the Bishop Rogan Minor Seminary for the start of the Bishop's Games, where they will lock horns with each other for the grand prize at the various activities. <laughs> Very happy because I'm here to see the bishop select a little brush line. So we work with bishop, I mean many friends. Because my first time coming here and I feel very happy and I feel really such a wonderful place to be. Uh, 
accomplish what to win. I wish the game should be victorious. I wish, like, I don't know, I don't know if I could carry the bishop game back to my home because it's a pleasure being here. The chief shepherd of the diocese welcomes the youth who have gathered for the various competitions, especially the sporting competitions, as the bishop kickstarts the games. Youths feel so excited coming for the games, especially as some say it is their first time, so they hope to experience a lot and learn more from each other. I feel so good and I wish to meet so many friends, talk to people, experience a lot. So I really wish good things to happen to me here. So I can also tell my friends to inspire them to come to the Bishop's Gang and experience what also I've experienced. I expect that many things happen to me. I expect that I should be successful in life. So I have success to make my family proud and to make my friends feel so good the way I feel. About this place, so it's hoped that as the days keep unfolding, the youths keep gaining more skills and knowledge from their peers and spiritual nourishment as well. Well, let's hold the news here and we bring to you more in our evening edition, Divine Mercy Prime. Let us have this time to continue with Sari Vecinus, Reverend Father Mike Njomo, and Marion Ngeni. I've been Jude Baku. Stay on. Thank you very much, June yeah. Baku, for that. That's you have I'm enlightened us. Father, a round of applause. <laughs> You have really enlightened us on what is really making news in the diocese of Boyer, and we are very grateful for that. Jude, you know, we cannot let you go without participating today in our topic. What is the most valuable achievement you have made this hmm. year? Jude, I see you as a man of grandeur. <laughs> you, are, you are a mover and shaker. Oh yes. my God. A man of timber and caliber. Mm. So we want to know, <laughs> this 2022 that is elapsing slowly, I'm sure you've made a lot of valuable achievements. So Jude, we are pleading that you share with us those achievements you've made this year. <laughs> My score is pumping because okay. I'm struggling to pick which one. There are many. Wow. Okay, I told you. I told you. Yeah, there are many. I told you. Yeah, I told you. Jude is an achiever, a goal <laughs> getter, a pace setter. I mean, the yeah. man who sets his hand on the plow and never looks back. No, oh no, 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 Jude the good. good. Wow. <laughs> I love that name this morning. People should not tell her. I don't have money in my pocket. So, but, but the one idea is that uh, 2022 has, for me, 2022 has really been uh, achievable. Okay. In, in, not, in not really in financial terms. That's okay. <laughs> but the temptation is that most often when we talk of success, yeah, so a lot of people want to see sure yeah, right? yes, how, much, how much you have gone financially. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think that. It, in terms of um, personal development, okay. yeah, uh, skills, gaining of skills, wow. uh, and trying to impact others my own way, um, service too, work and all that. I've really, I've really done a lot, unlike the other years that I, I, I mean, I, I'm in an advanced stage of my career and I've worked hard and so. Um, at every spot, every point, you see some development. You work hard for it. And this year, I think um, I've taken a step further in personal yeah. development, skills, and all that. Then educationally, in terms of academics, I've added another cap on myself. Oh, wow. Um, I, I, I don't want to unveil now. Wow. There will okay. be more for that. Okay. So, just basically those ones let us leave it at that but there are other things in the background that we've been working and i think that 2022 has been 
very better for for me. It's been it's been better comparatively to the other years. So it's it's a reason to celebrate and say it has been achievable. Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Wow, wow. I feel I feel touched. <laughs> Not just in the heart <laughs> but in the marrow. Yeah. You know I, Jude, I really wish I could be like you. In fact... Don't, don't be like me. Don't be like me. If you, if you want to be like me, you'll be retrogressing. Just walk on, <laughs> walk on your own lane. You have, yeah, a, you, okay. have a lane you have a lane that I also cannot walk on. All right, okay. So, uh, achievement. I, I feel bad for that. But no, don't feel bad. I take it in good faith. I take no, it in good faith. He's telling that you're doing well. Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, yeah, and doing and well. I cannot walk. But for the getting those those achievements, I mean... It's an achievement. I think it's a go This getter. is intimidating. It's a go catcher. It is intimidating <laughs> this it's morning. It's not the good. For, for my point, you know, I tell you, I'm going to say it But one, thing, one of the things I usually say is that um, achievements are relative. Okay. okay. They depend on every individual. All right. People view their achievements depending on them. Mm -hmm. I, I may have walked just five steps to me it's an achievement. And somebody is taking 20. Yeah. And you got to capacity. Yes. They yeah. have not reached. The, 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 the. So, I, I saw a portrait somewhere after the African Nations Cup that we hosted here in Cameroon. All right. The third, the first team was Senegal on the first podium. The lion, the Terenga Lions, the lion that was on the first podium was not really happy. Then I've forgotten who was, was it the Pharaohs or Egypt? Yeah, on the second. On, on the second podium, they were not happy, but Cameroon that was on the third. The no, joy no. that Cameroon had. Oh, wait, wait, let me see. I won't, let's go ahead. Cameroon had the, the joy. Yes. yes the, Cameroon the had the joy. Okay. That was that superseded the other people. Wait, could somebody, could somebody not see that as being contented with mediocrity? Yeah, no. Be contented. You, 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 you have your, you achieve and you are contented with your achievement. Yeah, and then somebody has achieved even more than you. And he's still contented. not contented. So yeah. that's why I was struggling to explain that. You see this whole thing of achievement, it depends on individuals. It depends on what they set as priorities. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you may have equally achieved something which was not in your path of priority. Yeah. All right. And then now you are seeing it like a non-achievable thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. But if this thing was your priority, say, so, okay, this year, I'm going to get a master's degree in this. I'm going to do my PhD in this. To you, it's, it's a point of focus. It's a top priority. You work with, with that in, on that lane. And it becomes an achievable thing for you. Okay. So if you planned that in 2022, I was going to get married mm -hmm. by August, mm -hmm. and you achieve that, it's an achievement for you. But if it, if it came along the line, which you did not plan for it, and at, at this point you are looking at it like something which was not it was not your priority, you hardly really consider it an achievement. Okay. That's why people are often advised that when the year is coming, a new year like this one is coming, it's good. To make out outline your plan, yes, exactly. the achievable, so that at the end of the year you have tangible instruments to measure your successes yeah. and your achievements. But when you just live your life running like a roller coaster, at the end of the day, when someone asks you a question like this one, what you have been able to achieve, mm -hmm. it's going to be pretty difficult to lay your hand on any achievable thing. Okay. So make out your plan, make out a realistic ach uh, achievable and uh, plan for the year, yeah. so that. When you achieve, you can be able to measure. That's a mm. great one. That's how I look at it. Wow. Jude, you know you are a man of the people. <laughs> so we are giving you the usual opportunity <laughs> to wish people out there salve vicinas. Okay. Let me let me use this morning mm -hmm. to say salve vicinas to Reverend uh, Kafu Carson. Okay. <laughs> I, I'm sure I... I, 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 I my cousin. Yes, he's, 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 my, he's my very good friend. And my own, uh, my own man, Reverend Father Alphonse Wongibe. Wow. At um, St. Martin de Porres in Bukwango. Okay. I'm, I'm wishing them Sabbath Virginia this morning in a very special way. Thank wow. you. Drew, I feel like you, you remain within the church. <laughs> you yeah. remain within... Yeah, I'm a church boy. Wow. Yeah, I'm a church boy. Okay. And um, I grew up in the church, uh, and most of my friends are church people. Wow, wow, wow. But I'm of the world. I live in the world. Okay. <laughs> you are a church boy, but you live yeah, in the world. I live in the world. All right. Thank you very, very much, Jude. You're it welcome. was a pleasure having you here on set with us. Uh, and uh, I think we have to take on a quick musical break. So at least dance a bit. Let's dance to the new year.
as we are approaching it. So I think it is time for us to have a musical break. And when we come back, we continue dishing to you what we have cooking for you.
that was indeed a very interesting one. Father, you know, I used to think only the Soweto Gospel Choir has that population. Mm -hmm. But you could really see how the population was there. But yet the harmony still came out. Yes. And you could see the conductor struggling to, you know, control every part of the choir. Mm -hmm. I mean, that Struggling. Was, he actually did it. He was struggling. No, he did it. Struggling. He did it. Struggling. He did it. Struggling. He did not struggle. Father, if you today, struggle, you don't see what you saw. Today, I'm not going to give up on <laughs> this. Father, you know well, man, he was man, struggling. Man. How can you say struggling? Somebody he successfully struggling. conducts a he choir, not, he says Father, struggling. Look at what Soweto Gospel Choir does. How can you compare so Soweto permit Gospel me to Choir imitate them. with this choir? Soweto Gospel Choir has a different vibe. The oh, vibe no. differently. These okay. were shutting down. But the you never see the conductor... Project. Jumping from what from do you mean? East to west, west to east, it's north style, to south, and he succeeded to control his choir perfectly. He struggled and Marin, he succeeded. I need to give you a choir. Yeah. Okay. I now actually I belong to one. Man die, man <laughs> he, so, he struggled, he struggled, and, he struggled and he succeeded. So <laughs> I at least, one. Yes. yeah, I want me here. Yeah. I'm okay. so happy for that. Great. We go to the. Uh, we need to analyze now our messages which have come mm -hmm. before we go to other aspects and slots. The topic still remains. What is your most valuable achievement? this year share with us your most valuable achievements and uh, let's see how it goes who knows it might inspire someone to achieve that next year this coming year we have this message father which says my most valuable achievement this year includes all right having and putting god first in all my activities mm -hmm. praying as a family and sharing the word of God as a family. Love and unity and collaboration amongst my family members. Salve Vici News to the Awareness family home and abroad, to the Christian community of St. Peter and Paul University Parish, to all SSG members of St. Peter and Paul University Parish, and their patron and matron from Ben Ewane. All right. That's a great one, Ben Ewane. We have three achievements this year, Father. The mm -hmm. first is having and putting God first in all my activities. Mm -hmm. That is a virtue. Yes. A very strong virtue at that. You know, because it is not easy to have that. To yeah, have it's, that it's not practice. it's not easy to have even complete success on that. Yeah. I, I I really want to appreciate Ben if he's really moving towards that aspect because the mm -hmm. spiritual life is a gradual life. Sometimes we can sometimes put ourselves first. Yeah. But then putting God first is the first one of the first principles of saying that seek he first the kingdom of God, seek first the kingdom of God. In seeking his kingdom, you seek God first. So in everything you do and the law of attraction also tell you that um Many things which you do out of intentions, not malice, sorry, out of good intentions, you realize that they come to pass because it's not your will. Putting God first also entails putting God's will first. So I think Ben is on a good track with that. And Father, he, he does not just end there, mm -hmm. but he has achieved praying as a family and sharing the word of God as a family. I think you've been a family that us. prays together. Yes. Lives together. Yeah. Grows stronger together. So, so I write you also know. if Ben can also reply to us telling us if he's sharing the word through the seven gospels sharing or the seven steps of gospel sharing or how does he go about sharing the word of God so he can enlighten others and others can also benefit from that again. What do you think, Mary? Father, you know, growing as a kid, yes. my granddad, Mr. Tanjong, yes. he will always, we, we, as of back then, saw it like he was being very strict because yes. in the morning there's morning devotion. Yes. Yes, you all gather at the dining, you pray, and each person gives an intention. Okay. And then when the prayers are over, we have breakfast and you go along with your activities. In the evening, what betide you if you sleep before evening prayers? Mm -hmm. So no matter how tired you are, mm -hmm. you will sit and wait. For that so i think if uh, mr ben can actually say this then it is something worth applauding mm -hmm. we also have this message which says salve vicinus to the crew my most valued achievement this year is to the total realization that truly i am the very source of my own 
happiness. Okay. Happiness starts with me and the very fact that I cannot please people here though. Salve Vicinus to Jordi, Kelly, and Karen. Mm -hmm. May the Holy Innocence intercede for all children. This is from Leke Mirabel. Wow. Thank you very much. Wow. That's a great one from Leke Mirabel. Source strong, of happiness. And one. I think I've met Leke Mirabel once or twice, and she radiates a lot of joy sometimes. And we say, Leke Mirabel, continue with this aspect to realize that happiness flows from within, and you are the center of your happiness you make yourself happy that is a great aspect i think we encourage that and we also wish a happy feast of the holy innocence to the your loved ones and the ones to whom you have wished that yes marion father happiness starts from within and actually i really love that because no one has the power to determine your happiness except you no one. I can determine your happiness. But you cannot. I can, I can never. I can in, make you angry. In the words I've of, made you angry in the words, in the words I've of Kathy. You, you have made me angry, but you yes. cannot determine my happiness. So if I made you angry. In the words of Kathy, Kathy says, I will not give you the pleasure Who's Kathy? to see me. She is uh, the CEO of NK Arenas. <laughs> you know. Okay, let me listen to what yes. you She's In her words, in her voice, she says, I will not give you the pleasure to see me unhappy because doing that you're aiming at making me unhappy but it's sorry for you that because had, in fact i've been basking in the pleasure of making you unhappy so i don't know but i'm already used to <laughs> yeah, already so used i just to. take it in good faith whatever comes comes <laughs> yeah, already used to, but every day i mean like now i just frown let me see uh -huh, you see, I mean, you're smiling happy. and laughing, you know, is my trademark. So, to see me frown, <laughs> it must have cost you a fortune, okay? Just to see me frown. Me so, Mirabel, we are very, very grateful for that. Uh, we yeah. plead on our viewers to continue sending in your contributions. And please, please, please do not call the studio number. Do not call the studio number. We really appreciate if you send in your contributions by normal messages on uh, our WhatsApp page, and why not on our Facebook page? Father, this message, mm -hmm. this particular message, okay. Salve Vichinus to you all in the studio, and happy, happy new year in advance. Thank you. For me, what I have achieved this year, by the grace of God, is my life and the life of all my family and friends, that I am meeting and talking to them as they are alive. That is the first and the most important thing I have achieved this year. I just want to thank God and give him the glory. I want to say Savo Vicinus to my lovely wife, Madame Nzi Evelyn Webse, my kids and my family, my parish priest, Father Emil Ekomi, and curate Father Thomas Nkemasong. It's Tashe Emandi, Catechist of Christ the King Parish, Idinao. Father, mm -hmm. this is one thing we cannot buy with money. If the rich could buy this, then I think life wouldn't have the essence it has. And one thing I really like to applaud her, Mr. Emma for this is the fact that he acknowledges that he is not the person who achieved this, but he he sailed through mm -hmm. by the grace of God. Yeah, what is he doing? Having to have his all his family members, friends alive, mm -hmm. having to communicate with them and talk with them. Wow. I mean, the fact that he acknowledges God proves that he puts God first before every other thing. And he is not the person achieving this, but he sailed through by the mm -hmm. grace of God. Mm -hmm. And he really acknowledges that God is the Alpha and the Omega of everything. We want to thank the Kishé for watching right from Idina. He's doing a great work there. Mm -hmm. We've been down with him a lot of times. We've gone to um, uh, Block 20. Wow. We are wishing the Sabbath wishing to all those at Block 20, all those at Idina, Bobende, all those at Big Yard, all those, uh, yeah, CPU Big Yard. Also, those at Eden now, then going back to the Buncha, and Eden now has a great fan base of Dwayne Mercy Radio Television. We also want to wish a Sabbath Vicino to Mr. Robbie, then Eden now, and uh, a lot of all our friends watching Mirabel Oru from Eden now, also, and his and, and her husband, Glory Anu from Eden now. I mean, Eden now is really doing great, Mr. Aswa. 
and Katikishe, just also the parish priests who are there. Those for me to now keep on watching the Sabbath Chinese and keep on sending the contributions so we know what you feel about yourself. We are here because you are there. And uh, we take on a very quick musical interlude further. Mm -hmm. And when we come back, we go to where ends meet. Let us see how to make ends meet before we dive into a new year. Let us see how to bring up new innovations that will help sustain us. But before we go into that, we take on a quick musical interlude. And when we come back, we see how to make various ends meet. Welcome back. And like we said, after this musical break, we will be seeing how to make ends meet further. Yes. So we just go straight to our where ends meet. Mm -hmm. And we see how to make where ends meet. And it's a call on creativity. Man, when you provide solutions for man, don't bother. You can't make where ends meet. In being an entrepreneur, always seek answers to questions and seek to solve problems. We move to where ends meet right away. support precisely street seven where we are meeting today with an amazing videographer photographer community builder and model no other person than hexival follow us inside in his amazing home studio to get the magic and see how the magic is created Yeah. So this way. 
Oh, this is where the magic is performed. All the creativity and all the life. Oh, okay. Oh, a lot of cameras. So, uh, this is where this is the camera, this is the main switch. This is used to get uh, images on both pictures. It's a white and it's a dark one. 24 to uh, 70, 24 to 105. So you'll get beautiful pictures, wide angle length. How much is it? This one is 500,000. 500,000 just for a length? This is 500,000. This is um, Sigma 150 600. It's used in the. Um, it used to get pictures from a very, very far distance, like in a football match, in this kind of zoo areas. Okay, and these are these are the kind of lenses. This are kind of this kind of lenses, and it's very pretty expensive. This one million, this one point three million. Just for a lens. Just for a lens. So, and it's different from the camera. This is the camera. Okay, that lens this is one point three million. This is just a lens of one point three million. This is the camera. This one you can get a brand new for 1.2. You can get this. This um a Canon 5D Mark III. Okay, so how many cameras do you need in general? Like I start? I have I have four cameras. Okay, you have I have four cameras. But this one I mostly use is a 5D Mark III, and um, this is another one. This is um 80D, US 80D. Then the, um, the other one on the other gimbal is um, a Lumix GH4, which is newly bought. To begin with, um, I am a model, a model, an actor, and um, so many things in one. Um, why I dive into photography, I've loved photography pictures ever since when I was in school. I have this one, the small digital camera. I always use that in school, take pictures with friends, 11 February, the 20th May kind of a thing. So I've always loved it electronics it takes a whole lot to become a photographer um, so many photographers I see around Boya and Cameroon in general some come in because of the money yeah but then it, it takes a lot it takes a lot as in research wise it takes a lot to become a photographer and you must you must bear with me that's a very expensive field it's very expensive um, on my own path I uh, in as much as I did um, some of my findings when I was in school I love playing with the cameras I've worked on I've worked on so many um, movie sets so I could actually I could actually play with the camera as it's big um, video directors in handling the camera so um, in that in that in that light I could actually learn so many things why I was um, behind the scene for for, for on the camera on movie sets and um, I actually gained um, two months experience in photography in the um, in the um, Potter court okay so from there I had to start building my skills getting up a cam getting a camera but then I didn't get a camera from the first from the first corner I I had a small um, container which I wanted to use for business so at one point it wasn't giving me it wasn't it wasn't flowing it wasn't my passion getting the contracts for business and things like that so I sold the container when I sold the container to get a camera I got a small camera which um, I thought I was that was, yes, it. That was but it then I discovered that, that was not still it like what can I still do to get good images and get better pictures I discovered how to get another camera after selling that one then i discovered that it's still not the best then i had to go into serious research why is this thing done this way and the level which i started photography um i think it's it's a call for concern so many other young youth and young photographers should definitely follow that food i didn't learn photography in such a way that i i just do clean pictures and that's just it my the way i started was why is this image done this way why are they using this lens and why are they not using this lens okay hex let's come now to serious matters passion is one thing learning the skill is one thing yeah. let us talk about the business part of it the survival part of it making money out of it because there are young people out there just waiting to get inspiration from your journey so that they can also make ends meet so how is it like what's the survival part of photography is there money or there's no money um photography has money 
should be told. So Photo- I can actually make money from photography. You can make money from photography. You can abandon everything now. Because you can you can abandon everything and make money from photography. So how, that's only. How long that's, do I need to 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 stay before I start making money? Um, it all depends on how creative you are, how smart you are. There are times you've gone to events and taking pictures for free just because you want to give back the community. So how is that journey of you inspiring hope to your community and other people? Well, um, on, on that journey, on that journey, it has not only been easy because so many people tend to abuse it. Because um, so many people think, think that um, the images we take is just any kind of image you get. But some of these images we take are very expensive. They're very expensive. And some of, some people will think that is is that kind of image where you go and get for an event is five hundred. Me, I don't do pictures for five hundred. I do three pictures for ten thousand francs. But I intend to step it down to two pictures ten thousand francs because it's it's really stressful editing pictures. It's really stressful getting that beauty, getting that glamour of pictures. But then um, doing um, a picture from a wedding that you just get randomly is different from getting a session for photo shoot. Okay. So. That's that's that. But then giving back to the community has been has been beautiful. I, I love giving back to community. I love when um I I, I touch the life of people because um, my mom has always been telling me that um you you don't give when you have, you give when you don't have. So that what has been pushing me and I've been doing my own little best I can do and God has been blessing. So people that knew me, they could actually contact me for their works and whatsoever. So that's where I had to get into. So if you're doing anything you're doing there, just have it in mind that all what you need to do is to be patient, be consistent, and be prayerful. Trust me, everything will definitely work out perfectly well at the right time. Fingers are not the same. Not everybody will succeed at the same time. You have your own time. He has his own time. Everybody has their own time. So you definitely have your time. But trust me, if only what you're doing is genuine and pure. Thank you, Hex. Such an inspiring story. Dear televiewers, it's a wrap of our journey today with the photographer, the model, the videographer, and the community builder. It's been us, the streets of great support. Thank you. See you tomorrow for yet another edition of Where Ends Meet. Thank you. Many thanks to you, Ngateng Donald, for that. Uh, and uh, that was Hexival. To the models watching us, you should know who Hexival is. To most event uh, planners, I am sure you should know who Hexival is. And when it comes to photography, we have learned that you can actually make a living out of photography. There is a lot of money out there. There is a lot of money in talent. What we're just expected to do is for us to explore the talents, identify the talents first, build them, and then explore the talent. That, I, that is what I think is expected of us to do for us to make various ends meet. And like I always tell Father, going to school is essential, yes. but the most essential thing is putting food on your table, doing the right things. And I'm really, really emphasizing on that, doing the right things. You shouldn't go around stealing, being a hoodlum, just because you want to put food on your table, no. Identify your talent, help in the society, serve the society while the society serves you as well because it's a two-way something and you see if food wouldn't be put on your table. So let's please just identify our talents and see how to make various ends meet uh, further. That was photography. Did you really know photography could have such such grandeur in the society if today. you never had such grandeur then i wouldn't know the photographers i knew since i, I was born who have been there <laughs> since up to now and there are still photographers i can remember in Yaoundé, we had for example photo dive and he's still there mm -hmm. the same studio mm -hmm. but now sometimes as i may with the changes of photography so yeah. if you see a woman roasting corn and she has been there since from the inception to that moment means there's something there is something, actually there. There, is something. there must be <laughs> yes, something and her services are also needed in society so that is it's all about serving too once the services are met and so your services are needed and you meet up with your with the services to and help one another then be rest assured 
all right in content of life yes message is coming in marion yeah we have a message which says good morning to you in the studio my most valued achievement this year is my continuous connectedness with my family and friends though with the hectic nature of the year i feel fulfilled this year being with them god willing the spirit continues Wilfred, right away from Bafu Sam. Yes. Thank you so much. Father, I love the part he has identified that the, the year was hectic. <laughs> it was hectic, like <laughs> hectic. That part pricks me so much, but uh, thank you so much for that. And with a hectic year, indeed, prices going up, things becoming yeah, so expensive. I'm telling you. Father, that Ukraine Russia, oh, if we could turn back the hands of time. I'm telling you. Because if palm it's near, oil, it's near, palm, it's oil, palm oil, palm oil we produce. It's not affected. Celeste will tell you it's affected by, by Ukraine, Ukraine Russia, Russia war. Okay, have you seen palm oil has to go through some milling and all that? What about snails? Nyamangoro? Snails now, because of Ukraine the, and Russia war, the Ukraine is now, is Russia now about actually affected. I mean, it affected the climate so the snails couldn't survive <laughs> yeah so the ukraine and russia were affected you know the production of yes. rice even our own rice so yes. rice we produce down yes. there in dope it ukraine was affected i don't know if it's the back or the the fertilizer the menu or the, the seedlings i don't know because everything father yes ukraine russia war okay but we thank god like mr wilfred god willing the spirit will keep on surviving oh yes by will. his grace will still true okay mm -hmm. so mario now we see wait on the messages while we read more messages are coming in we'll take a brief musical break and we are going to come back with our press review this times again this time sorry looking at our school uh seminary magazines and the flyers which we have in our diocese which are making news and in the country cameroon and why not all over the world internationally so take a brief musical break and we come back with a press review <music>
Thank you and welcome back again. We have a, a topic on your screen, your most valued achievement for this year. So we go again now to our press review and bring to you again our newspapers and uh, our magazines from our seminar. We begin with Searchlight Magazine. We begin with the Searchlight Magazine. The Searchlight Magazine, which is talking about the Christian and human work. The Christian and human work. The Christian and Human Work and the Searchlight Magazine, which will soon be on our screens, is talking about the Christian and Human Work and uh, the value of work. Why we see uh, studio technicians getting that ready, we shall see again our magazines on the screens. We also have uh, the portal, which is, yes, that's Searchlight now, and the issues we have, the Christological dimension of work, Work as man's participation in God's creation, human work, and leisure. This is the 133rd edition, and it's at the cost of 500 francs. You can get from any major seminarian or any other parish which has a seminarian. We go to the next magazine from our philosophical Porta Lucis. We go to our next magazine from the philosophical Porta Lucis, which is at its 10th edition. Portal Luchis, which shall be coming up very soon on our screen. Portal Luchis, the 10th edition. The place of religion in human culture. The place of religion in human culture. And uh, it has on it rethinking African traditional religion. Many people have asked themselves what African traditional religion is all about and how can a Christian be a Christian and how what is the place of African traditional religion for an African. It's a, an added opportunity for us to really take time off and see what our seminarians have written for us. Examining the Anglophone crisis in the lens of African traditional religion is another aspect. Then we have African traditional religion and the pluralism of modern culture. And the pluralism of modern culture. That's what we have on Porta Luchis. We also have, again, the has religion done more harm than good to mankind? The enduring value of Christian anthropology, African communalism and the spirit of synodality, and Christmas celebration, that is Christmas, celebration of Africa of childbirth in ATL. Celebration of childbirth in ATL. So we go to the next again, L'Osservatore Romano, L'Osservatore Romano, weekly edition in English, and it has in need of conversion, be vigilant and contribute to peace. Vigilant and contribute to peace, which runs from the 23rd to the 3rd of December 2022. So, this is a weekly periodical which will take us until the 3rd of December. You're free to get your Loservatore Romano even online. It covers a lot of topics building peace, peace solution, one more day of life, one day less in prison. Pope Francis grants interviews. You can get that on Alosevatore Romano. We now go on to the next, this time a diocesan flyer. The Diocese of Boya, Our Lady of Grace Shrine, last Friday vigil. The Our Lady of Grace Shrine, last Friday vigil. I will give you a sacrifice of thanksgiving and offer my prayers to you which featuring adoration, invocation of the Holy Spirit, world encounter, and lots more. Venue at 8 p.m. till dawn. The date, Friday, 30th of December. The venue, Our Lady of Grace Shrine. The hosts, Father Nicholas Happy. We go now to the next flyer. Le vrai bruit, c'est avec l'Esprit Saint. Le vrai bruit, c'est avec l'Esprit Saint. Sous la haute patronage de la Chidiocèse de Yaoundé, la cathédrale Notre-Dame de Victoire de Yaoundé, à Travers le Conseil Parochial de Jeunes, c'est que je organise le vrai bruit, c'est avec l'Esprit Saint. Le 29 au 30 décembre 2022, à la cathédrale, la cathédrale Notre-Dame de Yaoundé, Notre-Dame de Victoire de Yaoundé, s'il vous plaît. Et nous avons des invités, les surprises, et nous avons les activités comme le bras de fer, les matchs, des, les matchs. Et comme beaucoup d'autres choses, euh, les ch châteaux et The Voice, la plus belle voix, concours de danse traditionnelle. Entrée est libre. Nous sommes tous invités à être là et à participer, à y participer dans les activités là-bas à Yaoundé. And kindness, I think that is what we have today for our 
press review and Myron we shall be taking over back at the studios to have our various contributions again if we have our contributions we can look up where we are waiting on you to give your various contributions and we shall prepare our birthday slots which shall be coming after our news in pigeon we shall be having our news in pigeon after this brief musical interlude we shall be having our news in pigeon and our birthday slots we take a brief musical interlude the news in pigeon and birthday slots viewers it is still your favorite breakfast program salvate the genius where we continue treating you with what we have in stock and uh, like father rightly said we have two more packages to upload for you today and uh, in less than no time we will be taking on our pigeon news with langua man aka king jaman to thrill us on what has been making news in and out of the diocese in and out of the nation as well in the pigeon language i think before i release the second package let's just have a, 
Langwaman, who is already on standby to thrill us with the Pigeon News. Special salute for Kontipure, where they come in now for us, I for some time, Kontipure. Sabi say another hour of catch for which steps for blow to re for Wuna for pigeon as it be for some time. All right, we will start with his same story. Continue them. Same story for today. Na Oga Clementine, uh, Madame Clementine, better still, yes, Madame Clementine for that side for Divine Mercy Co Cathedral for Bea as we talk. So, wait, Madame Clementine said talk for we uh, for same story for today. Say it is so. Man way he get runny stomach. Man way he get push belly. He step step in the fear dark. Dark na the best place as we tell when I saw for some time. Man way get runny stomach. Man way get push belly. He step step in the fear dark as we talk. Mama uh, Clementina for that side for Divine Mercy Cook Cathedral for Bea side. All right, we we'll start with way to cook up an additional morning time, and then for 2 p.m. we'll bring more more for another year. We'll kick start now for that side for Bea Central Prison, as we we'll talk so for Santa. Wait, it happen. Sabi say, Holy Book talk say this, so me, I be hungry, and you know, be give me nyama. Me, I know, be get close, and you know, be give me close. Me, I be never was people, and you know, become waka me. Now, the chief shepherd for that's of Boya. Bishop Michael Bibi the Oga Quarter Quarter for Boya Dances. He said, he be match word with actions as we tell us. He carry Christian for them and they go waka ngata for them for that's of Boya Central Ngata for Isaac Boya. Now that's what I say. You see how we, if you go waka them with chop, waka them and then he lance sacrament of baptism as well as confirmation for ngata for them. We the different gata. The ceremony is the kickstand of the Holy Mass for his own gata. They will be here. Now, so we made them, gata put them, they be filled with joy. All man be the smile from Mola to Mola for receive Papa Bishop for Boya Central Prison. Sabi said, Waka de so now every year, every 26 December, Papa Bishop, he did go work and gata put them from gata for Boya as we tell us. So now that we see, and so they be go there with plenty, paka paka chop them, plenty give them, plenty dash them for langsiam for ngata put them. I wait to be the fine talk with Papa Bishop Te ngata put over there. Say this so any man where he tem he don't finish. I when na morning I be the wahala, be the send the name for he to serve. He could do something for the palava. You know be easy. So continue put them for his and ngata they they do they get their own head boy, they get their own big man where he be talk for. Divine Mercy Television Talking Stick. We go here, the appeal we be make up during the work of Papa Bishop from Gata. We go here. The population now in this our central prison is twice more than that of last year. With sick cases and people who have sent their imprisonment them, they still here and because of court fines and curses. My Lord, we know that you have this program in your heart and in your mind. But we are still crying and begging for people of good will to join you as safe lives in prison and to reduce the population of this prison. St. Bosco says, and I told, do good while you see. And then now more year to for the chief shepherd of the Asso Boya, Bishop Michael Bibi, he be talked to concerning Iwaka for inside Ngata for Bayer Central Prison. We go here. We are going to make an effort. I spoke with the superintendent in charge of the central prison and I asked him to give me the list of all those who are supposed to leave this prison and who are still here because of financial reasons. So give me the list of the people, give me the names of the people and how much they are supposed to pay. Night that's because for them. So for 2 p.m., we'll have to hear more more. We'll now hear reaction. They plenty, plenty concerning Papa Bishop. He visits for Boya Central Prison 
Oh, the 26th of December, we pass over some time. And Stephen Matavon got a walk and got a visit for that side of Bafusam, their own bishop, the chief shepherd of that area. You two, if you go walk and got a put them from Gata. So for two people, when I will hear that too, and when I will see too for some time. We leave that chapter, continue to carry ourselves, we enter for our backward of Baminda, we see how we ceremonial for Christmas, it be take happen. It not be easy, oh. Ha, continue people, neither so. Now, for instance, about time we enter so for see how ceremonial for Christmas it be take happen for that area. Neither is here in Jaka they said that they enjoy themselves, they did celebrate, they did glad plenty, plenty for celebrate Christmas 2022 for inside Abakwa. As how we look, look at it with camera, it be touched for Bamida town for our United States and so how all things it be work to find for that area for Bamida side. And after that, continue the wheel sister will be take up in stick. We put them for Njaka them as well as parents them where they tell you how Christmas too it passed for that side for Bamenda. We go hear reaction for that side for Bamenda side. To play and enjoy my friends and because today is Christmas. I'm so happy that God has given me a life today. And so I came here to play with my friends. Today is a special day. I've decided to bring my kids here because uh, once in a year they need to sit like the day class is gone. So if I bring them here, it is because I see their age groups, they are here, many of them. So when you bring children where they meet the other ones, they are very happy, like as you can see now. So the children are very happy. And for me, as a parent, I have a lot of joy in me. And they will be put talking stick to when a microphone for city mayor for Bamenda. He to be talk for his talking stick. We go here. Yeah, declaring the goodness of the Lord who himself became flesh in Christmas. And he reigns. Therefore, we have to receive him in our minds, in our hearts. Receive him and be like him. We can receive Jesus Christ and be someone else. So we think that this year will be a, a year for us with an inside change. We change because Jesus Christ is coming right here in our hearts. Now that's so as soon as I am, it happened for that side for Abakwa side. Now very quickly, continue put them. We will carry ourselves we'll enter for whom we wrote. Ah. For we now we will not follow divine mercy television. We now will service around July moon. So we bring we now how whom wrote it be day. It be those some I saw the gospel day during the rainy season. And now we are bring a big gravity that happened for that side just now as we talk. So we wrote for that side for whom caterpillar it don't enter roots yes neither that oh caterpillar says say we don't have those roto i said big blood it go on big celebration it go on for people the way they run womb by me the roots population of christ with a past mark now way this man that they call and say oga honorable walan richards Nice self check sense, make it do something before something do people them. So I've been saying road this way. We'll be showing the last time how we now Okada said the transport cops. So Moto Navy pass, Moto Navy worker. So we say Motel when a highway they stay there now. Say Caterpillar they inside the road now. The Nyama Nyama the road, the Bodos Bodos the road for see how we the visa work on top. And then now we'll be catch one of the bike rider them where equally they run that route and it will be talk for we talking stick how the palaver they go on how the route be there before we we'll go here it not be really easy but now like this at least as they don't they don't the great corner of the road they don't almost get the whole of bafu the can down so now like this i believe say small motor then to configure the try pass to go for getting season it not be really easy for see and see me some motor then pass and even when we carry passenger them they get it feel bad like, especially for that deep gaining season I even though for that deep, deep rainy season safe or uh, on the river be to try also it put it be ready to throw later right for the road. Even though be so the room road not for the pass again. With the back say me they get it great and well, me then great I've English for Befa. Because with the late kind and our late grazing, because we don't wait the tar so they wait the tar, the tar never ever come. <laughs> so we the only do thank the honorable for the good work where they do and for the road. Say me continue that so be with the back now, say me they get it great of where we at least you could figure the last. We can do a very great work there because at least now. If he stand, if he really do some type of things, but 
When you go back to sometimes you carry passenger, you are rich for but men we don't carry people that they die for road. Carry patient then so where where they go for emergency. Plenty me, I don't carry then die from my back. That believes since now nurse, you if even carry pregnant woman, you go born very well. If you carry a patient, you go continue. For two PM, we now hear more more. Wait till that bad man he talk for say that road. And then now Sabi Zate when I say we love we love to show that the road how it be there during the rainy season. Now time for which we go meet up my that kindness too. Make you rewind the cassette back then how that road it be there. We go here. Yeah, fine boy. No, I, you know, that's not long. It's a big clap. Clap, you go, go. 